Why do estate plans fail? Here are three reasons I find that plans often fail. The first is failure to fund your trust. Many people think that once they create a trust, they are done, and that's just not true. A trust is a living document, not a static stack of paper. After you create your trust, you need to make sure it is properly funded. Accounts, vehicles, and property need to be properly retitled so the trust owns them. The second reason I know that plans fail is failure to plan for incapacity. Your estate plan needs to address more than just how property passes. Studies show that over half of people who reach 65 will become incapacitated for some period of time. Incapacity can happen to anyone at any time because of accident, disease, medical incidents, or disability. You need to be proactive and create a plan that names the people that you trust to act on your behalf. Otherwise, your loved ones may be forced into court in spending three to four thousand dollars to be allowed to care for you or to challenge an otherwise unwanted guardianship by adult protective services. Another way to protect assets is with a trust. Your successor trustee can manage and protect assets on your terms if you're incapacitated. And the number one reason is failure to plan. There is perhaps no bigger mistake than having no plan at all. Your estate will be subject to the long, expensive probate process, and that process has strict rules on how and when your assets are divided and passed out. If you become incapacitated without a plan, your family will be forced into court to get permission to manage your financial, legal, and health care choices. And it could be adult protective services, a not your family, that takes over. Without a plan, you will be putting all the burdens of probate on your spouse and children. Without a plan, you risk a total stranger taking over your management of your affairs. Without a plan, you don't have a say in how your property will be distributed.